Yes, there is definitely ways to get rid of anti-nutrients in food. The reason I don't promote cruciferous vegetables and leafy greens is because you have to soak them, ferment them, pressure cook them. There's different ways to do for different things. But a lot of people don't have the time to ferment their food. They really have time to make a meal, you know what I mean? So I don't promote it because the masses don't usually have the time to get rid of the anti-nutrients. And I don't think the juice is worth the squeeze because the soil is very poor. The nutrient density of our crops is very poor compared to like even the 70s. Like our the nutritional value of crops has gone down 50% since the 70s. So like, I don't think I'm finna be getting rid of all these anti-nutrients taking four hours to soak and ferment something so I can get whatever little nutrients I was finna get from the food. So I don't be promoting cruciferous vegetables and leafy greens for that reason. But yes, you can definitely get rid of anti-nutrients if that's what you want. There are ways to do that. And if you're a vegan and that's the only shit you eat, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I don't really promote it because I don't eat it. And it just takes a long time and a lot of like preparation to do so.